Are days like this gearing up for a big game agonizingly long? Sometimes they, it's like the clock never moves. Remember when you were a kid and you were looking at the clock in school and you're like, school. would you oh. please move along and oh. nothing happens? It's like that a lot for a player too. And when you're a young player, you don't have a lot of experience. The nerves really build as the day goes on. Hi everybody, he's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. Welcome to Long Island. So much is made of the Oilers dynasty in the 80s, but there was one dynasty before that one. Yeah, under Al Arbor and Phil Torrey, they won 19 straight playoff series and four Stanley Cups. What an amazing run. Lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. The Rangers start with possession as we are now underway. Rocks them. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. From center, they get into the attacking area. Passes right to the front. Wrist shot from the slot. Denies him in close. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Launches it from the point. Denies him on the slapper. Sabinejad's got control of the puck in the corner. Oh, catches him in the open ice. The Islanders slide it through center. Tripped up on the play. Delayed penalty coming up. He grabs the puck here at the point. Puts it towards the net. Blocker save. Let's see what the official says here. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot. He steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. And a solid job tying up his opponent. And they managed to clear it. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves into the offensive zone. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. The Islanders will play it in their own end. Couldn't make that one happen. Grabbed along the boards by Beauvillier. Handles the puck from the left side. Wrist went in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Carlin Bade, you out there in the building tonight? I'm out here, James. It's intense. I don't know if you can feel it upstairs. It's a rivalry game. We know what those are about, and so do the fans. But it's the rookies' first time playing this team. He scores! On the rebound, lights the lamp for the goal. Get to the net, that's where the goals are. The rebound sits there and he puts it away. New York's got the game's first goal as they lead here, one nothing early in the first. Always awesome to be in front of the game. You push the pace, you make the other team uncomfortable when you're out front. They've got numbers. The Islanders have it against the wall. That's not gonna fool them. Skinner's always so secure in his save selection. Nice stop, but the rebound in the corner is the best part. Couldn't complete the play. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Pulak. New York's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. That opportunity is rejected. Here in the later stages of this period, the Rangers have taken a 1-0 lead. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. A chance to clear. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Evans. Fires it, stops him cold. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Gets it out of his own end. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Evans. The Rangers gain possession in their own end. Kako's got it into offensive territory. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Rips it and rips it. Here he is on the backhand. Made the save on the play. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck too. So there's really nowhere that puck's gonna squeak through. Quick pass to Evans. Wrist shot from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. They fight for it along the boards. 
New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Big save. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. There's another stop. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. The Rangers have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. That's all she wrote on the first period of play as the horn sounds. Well, a fun start to both. They're ready to drop the puck here on period number two. James Sabolski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. The Rangers win the faceoff. Moves it to Evans. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Here's a howitzer at the net. Oh, what a stop. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Puts it away to stay on the attack. Takes the shot. Gets in front of it. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and buries it. Goalie probably wishes he didn't leave that rebound there. The shooter takes it. Th Looks like a swarm of bees out there. Ray, what are you seeing on the bench? Well, the coach has gone to the rookie, and he wants him to continue with what has gone on. They've been aggressive. They've been all over them. They don't want to take their foot off the pedal. New York's extended their lead to 2-0 here in the second. They look good. Really good game for them so far. They haven't given much up in the defensive zone. They've really pushed at it in the offensive zone and finally rewarded again with that second goal. Couldn't complete the play. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Solid check to slow him down. Sends it quickly to Zabinijad. The Rangers take it across the line. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. We're still in the early stages of this period. New York's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Puck scooped up by Lee. New York's on the attack. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. Shesterkin's gonna hang on here for the whistle and stoppage of play. It's a good thing he does because you haven't mentioned his name and I don't know how long. The play's been at the other end of the ice forever. New York's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Picked up along the boards by Kreider. They've got the defense outnumbered. He scores! That's three, Ray! Yeah, just they haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal at all here. Once they got that first one, they kept pushing away. Now they've got three. You don't get many of these odd man rushes, so you better take advantage of them. They move the puck quickly and aggressively, and the goalie couldn't keep up to the shot. The rookie's had a really good game, and he gets a little tap from the coach as he comes back to the bench. That doesn't happen very often. Pretty satisfying when you know the boss is happy with you. We've called his name multiple times. I like this by the coach here, James. He's gone to his youngest player, the rookie, and he's reminding him to play safe at this time of the game. You got the lead. You don't necessarily need another goal. You don't need turnovers. And as I tell my kids, Razor, safety never takes a holiday. The Rangers have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. New York's won it. Puck grabbed by Truba. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Evans has got one. You know he wants more. Everybody in on the fun tonight. Pulak's carrying it ahead. Quick feed to Marcel. Let's the wrister fly. Makes the save with the glove. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. The Islanders look to start the transition game. Maintains possession, and he slides it quickly to pull off. Drives to the sweet spot. Evans has the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Barzell. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Intercepts the pass. Oh. 
Lee's got to dig in here. I mean, he's the leader of this team, James, and as their captain, everyone's looking to you when things don't go well. New York's won the draw. Panarin's got it along the boards. Here's a short pass to Bushnevich. New York's got the puck against the boards. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Panarin. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Quick pass to Panarin. Breakaway! Shuts him down on the breakaway! Really good save as the shooter thought he had an opening, but it's turned aside. Wrists one, denies him in front. Chesterkin's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Tees him up, denies him with a save. Well, the ice has sure looked tilted after 40 minutes of play as the second period comes to an end. Hey fans, we have a car in the east lot with its lights on. FSB 4494. The officials are set, the players are set. Ray Ferraro between the benches is set. I'm James Sabolski. let's go. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? New York's been chasing this game and chasing the puck much of the first two periods. If they're gonna get back in it, they've gotta possess the puck a lot more. And some good footwork to kick it away. Passes ahead from the right side. New York's got the puck along the boards. Barzell's got it in the offensive zone. Moves it to Lee, and he comes up with the save. Sends a pass over. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Quick feed to Evans. Hammers the shot. Oh, he comes up with a stop as he got the glove on it. Uses the force on that hit. Moves it quickly over. Scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. Uh, you'd expect that. The team's leading goal scorer finishes another one. New York's on fire tonight, and they show no signs slowing down in the third. This has been almost a perfect hockey game for them. When they look at the video, they're going to be really happy. He looks deep to Barzell, and he coughs it up with the pass. Good hit on the play. Scores! Mika's the finish and puts it in. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Rangers have been enjoying pad the stat night here. It's been going all night long here, even in the third. They came to play tonight. They have not let their opponent breathe, and it has been a dominating performance. Turn that chance aside. Here's a short pass to Truba. Winds up, lets it go, scores! his second of the game. Well, he's been on it tonight. Really good skating legs. He's finished off a couple of plays, too. The Rangers are in cruise control here, but they're showing no signs of letting up. No, the lesson began about two hours ago, and it's not class out yet. New York's got a hold of the puck. Takes the feed from his own end. Quick pass to Everly. Takes a shot, and there's the save. Shesterkin's gonna slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. New York's gotta be smiling looking at that calendar in the coming days. Yeah, there's no travel on it. The homestand is right in front of them. They've been looking forward to this for a while. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Nice zone entry from the middle. New York's got the puck along the wall. Here's a shot, and the traffic neutralizes that threat. 
Moves it to Bushnevich. Rips it. Huge stop by Varlamov. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Now a quick pass to Lee. From the left side, they gain the zone. To his teammate. From the slot, wrist shot. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. The Rangers continue to lead big here in this third period. New York's got it in the offensive zone. Great read on the block. Quick feed to Evans. Tries to get it over to Truba. In the offensive zone with the puck. You know he's thinking about his next milestone that's sitting one goal away. The Rangers have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he denied that opportunity. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Puck picked up by Peugeot. New York's got it in their own zone. Rocked him in the open ice. Moves it quickly over to Evans. He got all of that one. New York's got the puck in their own end. The Islanders take it along the wing. Look out, a two-on-one. Sends it over. Made the stop on that play. Shesterkin's got it, and he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there, and like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. There's the horn, and it's time to breathe. This guy's like a human wall with this run. Brian Boucher had five straight shutouts at one time. This is starting to look like that. Everything he handles looks like it. Ray, I want to bring it back to that moment where the youngster really had an opportunity, made a great play, and seemed to respond. Is that kind of a direct result of the, the coach kind of pushing him on oh, that one? Oh, there's the gray area, James. The coach will say yes. The player will say no. I was getting going in intensity of this rivalry and I'll tell you what love the way the kids showed up in a big time effort when you're not sure how certain kids are going to respond in these types of games and environments right he was right there in the thick of it the intensity and turned up his game another level you love to see that in a young player because you know what you got here going forward right really impressed liked his game another area that I was also really impressed Back to the phones we go. Let's check in with Rebecca and Bayside. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, I'm. you know what? I'm feeling good about the Rook. I, I try not to get too high or too low based on his performances earlier on. Sometimes that's not easy for me to do, but this was just a good all-around game, right? And I don't just look at the score sheet. It's great to be putting up points, but I'm more concerned on if he's putting in the effort, right? Is he back-checking? Is he leading by example? Is he really trying to earn his spot even though he is kind of that, that star rookie? And I was impressed. I thought he played a really solid game and was a big reason for the W. Rebecca or Becky, if you don't mind, answer me this legitimately. You took this kid in your fantasy team, didn't you? I did, yeah. I'm a little biased. <laughs> You're totally, Are we all? Yeah, it sounds so emotionally invested already. I'm amazed I know at this. I am. Yeah, that's all. It's always so much easier when things are going well, right? I mean, the team's winning. There's not a lot of issues. Sometimes it makes my show boring when a team's thriving, right? But my understanding was after practice earlier today, the coaching staff pulled the youngster aside and, and I think challenged him to see where can you be better? Yes, things going well right now, but is there room for improvement? I think the coaching staff sees that an opportunity to get a little bit more out of their youngster and see if they can try to move this win streak to maybe six games because this team's humming right now. But I think if the youngster can maybe turn it up a little notch, they might be able to keep the good times going for an extended period. Meantime, when you look at some of the other issues going on around the league... Well, let's take a look at how the standings were impacted with some of the final scores around the league tonight. The Leafs took to the road to match up with the Ducks. Anaheim puts up a strong defensive front when it mattered most, and they get the win.
Ray, can you find a quiet spot before a game? Is there a place to calm down? Uh, everybody does it different. You can. I mean, I like to stay around the locker room. Some guys, like the rookie, get out into the bowl of the arena. They listen to some music. They might sit on the bench and tape their stick. Everybody can find a spot. Hi, everybody. Along with Ray Pro, I'm James Sabolski. Welcome to the world's most famous arena here in Manhattan. The Rangers roll in as one of the hottest teams in hockey tonight, Ray. They haven't missed for a while. I've liked everything about them on this winning streak. They've took the game to their opponents. Their special teams have been good. Their goaltending's been good. When you're riding high, keep it rolling. Sabinajan's working it around in the corner. And the puck's booted away. Shot! Too much traffic in the lane. Taken along the wall by Buchnevich. Here's a shot on the redirect. Taken by Zabinijad. Stones him in front. Bobrovsky's had a lot to do with the team's winning record. His save percentage has been excellent all season. Big time hit in the open ice. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Still no score in this one. Locks him up on the draw as they take possession. Grabbed along the boards by Truba. Here's a short pass to Panarin. From the slot, wrist shot, fantastic save! Fires one, completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. Turn that one aside. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Takes possession off the draw. Nothing doing. Scooped up along the wall by D'Angelo. Let's it rip. Just wide. And now it's grabbed by Zabinijad. New York's power play comes up empty-handed. We're back to even strength on the ice. The only positive for the power play there is they didn't have to skate up and down the ice. They didn't generate anything. They had it in the zone, but really nothing very good about it. Feeds the puck across to Panarin. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Florida's regained possession of the puck. Slides it across. Turns it away. Carlin Bade is standing by. Scores! All over the rebound, and he puts it in. Florida's got the game's first goal just past the midway mark of the first. What's the mindset now here? They were just talking on the bench. Let's go get another. I like it. You're up one. Be aggressive. Go push the other team against the wall. Let's one go. And that shot dies in traffic. Picked up along the boards by Cahoon. Quick pass to Shiri. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Nice pass. Slides the puck across to Fox. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it across. But Brodsky's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. In the final moments of this period, the Panthers lead it 1-0. Inside the final minute of the first here. Sherry swooping in on the attack. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Takes it and looks ahead. That pass doesn't go. Scrum ensues along the boards. That's the horn, and 20 minutes is all said and done with here for period number one. Florida's got the start they wanted. They get on the board quickly, and they take a 1-0 lead into intermission. Period number two seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, was also set. Let's do this. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? The Panthers must love the way that this game is played out. They're controlling the majority of the shots, and they've got the one-goal lead. And the puck's kicked free. Slides it quickly to Bushnevich. Blocked in traffic. 
They fight for it along the boards. Trying to get back on the attack now. And that's broken up with a stick in front. He scores! We are tied! I like the way they've gone about this game. They've kept working away, not taking too many chances. And their work has resulted in a tie game. Takes the feed from the left side. From the point, they take control of it. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. The Rangers move it in. Here's a chance. Shot in front. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Bobrovsky. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Pokes the puck away. And he slides it quickly to Yandel. Move to the middle. Scores. The deadlock's broken. That's a big goal, and they put him into the lead. The Panthers have taken the lead here in the second, but I wouldn't say it's safe. Doesn't feel like it at all. This seems like a game that's going to go right down to the wire. Puck scooped up by Yandel. Now he's only one goal away, James, from his next milestone here. And he gets in the lane to block that. Picked up along the wall by Connolly. The Panthers carry it along the wall. New York's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to Hedo. Slides the puck over. Stopped by the goaltender. Dead center. Excellent save. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. The Panthers will play it from the defensive zone. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The Panthers are looking to build on this one goal lead. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Shot! Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Bobrovsky. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. And a great save! Puck grabbed by Matheson. Florida's got it against the boards. Barkov's got the puck. From point blank, gives them nothing in front. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. I think early in the year he gets a couple and you can feel his confidence grow and grow and grow. He looks like he thinks he's going to score almost every night. Past the midway mark in this period, it's a 2-1 game. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Passes it to Kreider. Here they are on the attack. Scores! And quite the counterpunch Scored this time goal. You'd like to follow it up with a shift or two. See if you can really change the momentum. The setters will glide into the dot. The Rangers win it. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Taken by Truba. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Answered the call on that play. Takes a shot. Another stop by the goaltender. Looks to get the puck over to Huberto. Enters the offensive zone from the left. The Rangers are on the attack. Solid hit on that play. And we've got a two-on-one. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Locks it down in front. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. The Rangers seem almost a little frustrated out there as we near the end of the second period. They've had plenty of chances, just cannot convert. Hammers a shot, and that's blocked away. Taken along the wall by Hito, and loses possession after a solid hit. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Jabs the puck away. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. That'll do it for period number two. Boy, if you like offense, this is a game made for you. Your team wins. You win $10 off and bombs. Bring tonight's city.
The officials made his way to center, and this third period is about to go. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. The Rangers move to the offensive zone. The Panthers gain control of it. Through center. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Evans. Puck picked up by Zabinijad. Here's a chance, and that one stopped. New York's got it near the point. Blocked in traffic. Florida's gained possession along the boards. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. Here's a shot, misses. They're wearing down the other team's defense with this cycle in the offensive zone. Dismissed that chance. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. And now it's grabbed by Yandel. Great chance in front, and a stick in the lane ends that threat. Moves it on over to Zabinijad, and it's a quick pass to McCabe. The Rangers gain control of the puck against the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. What a steal in his own end. Pumps the puck away. Manages to hang on. Vetrano's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. Across the line from center. And he regains control of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Hartman. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Floats the saucer pass. Scores! We just keep working away. Your lines roll over and over and over. You hope to build a little momentum. One shot ties the game. And now it's a whole new ball game. And we are all evened up here. Shooter's able to corral that saucer pass, and then he beats the goaltender. Ray, it almost looks like one end of the ice is under siege out there. Man, they've tipped the game over for sure, and the coach is reminding the players, in particular, his youngest player, the rookie, don't take a step back. Keep pushing the play while we have it going our way. Dallas will roll into town next here on this homestand. Always a fun tilt when these two go yeah, at it. Yeah, that'll be a challenge for them, James, because they play well. Generally speaking, they play well on the road, too, so this will be an interesting game. The Panthers move the puck in the defensive zone. He got all of that hit. Here's a short pass to Truba. Puts it on net. Oh, denies it with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Bobrovsky's done it again. Another terrific save. And he's kept this game close. Gains the zone through center. A critical draw here. Sabinejad's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Hammers a shot! Great stop by Bobrovsky! And now it's over to Evans. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Made the stop on the play. Bobrovsky's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. Late goings of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Puck move back to the neutral zone. The Rangers have it against the wall. Straight up the middle, here they come. The Rangers take it along the wall. Rocks him on the play. Puck clears the zone. Shesterkin's going to play it from behind the net. And now he moves it to Evans. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Snaps one on net, pedaled away by Bobrovsky. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Trying to get the puck out of harm's way. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Works it across to Kreider. Grabs the puck at center. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. There's the horn, regulation time has expired, and we are off to overtime.
OT should tell us who wins and who loses, and they're ready to get it underway. All right, listen to this place. The electricity so thick you can cut it with a knife. Sudden death overtime. The puck is dropped. Let's go. New York's got it in their own zone. Quick pass to Evans. The Rangers looking against the half wall. And they can't connect. And the puck leaves the zone. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. Now you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Sabinejad's won the draw. A howitzer shuts him down. Bobrovsky's job is not just to stop the puck, but get it out of danger. He does that here. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. New York's got it, and they're on the attack. Snaps it out of the net, stops it with the glove. He makes the glove stop right from the slot. That's a dangerous chance. Florida's got a hold of the puck. Under siege, trying to get it out of their zone. New York's got the puck behind the net. Slides it over with pace to D'Angelo. Here's the pass. Right up front. Can't connect. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Moves with the puck at the corner. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Nothing doing on that. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. The Panthers win the faceoff. They'll be back on their heels. They lose the draw after they've iced the puck. They're a little tired. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. It's a two on one. A chance to win it. Scores! Good night! New York's feeling much better about themselves as they come away with the OT win. Oh, well, they really pushed after it after nothing settled in regulation. They get the winner here in extra time. Well, bright lights, big city, and a nice salute here to the fans in Manhattan. I feel like there's more to that. Yeah, yeah, gotta come. I'm with you. Continues. We'll get to the phones in just a moment, but how about the rookie's performance out there on this night? Wow. Was challenged to be, you know, can you give us more? And the coaching staff saw an opportunity to say, hey, I think there's more you can give. You know what? The youngster delivering certainly showed that there was more to give as they extend that winning streak and keeps the good times going. And the home crowd loving that, as uh, I can see on social media here, and taking all sorts of calls. We'll get to in just a quick moment. Let's go to the phones here now. Who's online? I've seen a lot of traction here on social media, suggesting they're just trying to figure out where do they put that banner in the Raptors with his name and number on the back of it already. Well, we're. We're early in season one for him, so it might be a tad hasty, uh, but he has been fun to watch. I mean, he's out of the gate. He's had a good start, had a big night last night, um, not, not just getting on the board, James, but the way that he had the puck the whole time. Um, I'm I'm growing into a big fan early I, on I in his I get the career. excitement. I was going to say, like, I get the excitement, don't you? Oh, yeah, for sure. But as far as, you know, can we retire his number? I'd like to see him get through a season first. Okay. How about even a quarter? 